what's up YouTube what's cool what's cool what's happening welcome back to another video today I'm gonna talk about the reality of being lactose intolerant okay I'm lactose intolerant I have been for about a decade I wasn't always lactose intolerant I was able to eat the McFlurries the cheeseburgers um, whatever else the creams the fla the fla flips okay the, the creme fraiche everything all the desserts I was on it but then slowly but surely stomach started acting funny went to the doctor he was like you can't really test this stuff but what you can do is just start cutting off all dairy for a week and see how that goes I did it and that week I was completely fine and I realized that this is what I was lactose intolerant so I've been avoiding it for a while and as time has gone on luckily slowly but surely more brands have started coming out with alternatives so they still have they have all these lactose free brands so like Arla does a brand called lacto free and it is lactose free dairy so like milk they have cheese now they have puddings they have all kinds of things and every single time I go to the supermarket I'm telling you the lactose free and like the, the free from range is becoming larger and larger so also like the gluten free range and all these type of things whole aisles sometimes are dedicated to these type of things right so it's really amazing we're getting more you know kind of we're getting it's it's being recognized now that this is an issue and that a lot of people are suffering from this right but one problem I have is when you go to restaurants or when you go to places where you know they're catering for a lot of people and the majority of people don't have these issues so what I find is that there's a lot of discrimination going on against people that are lactose intolerant or gluten intolerant and all the other you know um, allergies that are out there um, although this is not an allergy it's an intolerance which means it's not like you're gonna get an anaphylactic shock it's not like you're gonna get some some serious rash or anything but it's still very uncom uncomfortable I mean you can get well just go and look up all the stuff that lactose intolerant intolerance can do but yeah it's to do with your stomach and your gut and not having the enzymes the enzyme lactase um, to actually deal with the milk sugar because it's just sugar a natural sugar that's in milk called lactose so I'm not able to digest it because I lack the enzyme I used to have it or enough of it and now I don't and that's how life is things change anyway there we are I have a problem with restaurants so like whenever you go somewhere and you're like they're like dietary requirements and you say lactose intolerant they're like oh okay so no cheese so that means veggies would be fine maybe let's do carrots and maybe hummus they always come up with the carrots and the hummus or some kind of vegetable basically what they do is <laughs> I always call it rabbit food because that's what that is and then other people will be there with their their ham their lamb beans greens tomatoes potatoes greens, potatoes, tomatoes. and you're sitting there with your your hummus in, in your cart and the thing that's very annoying is they they link lactose intolerant to being vegan that is not the same thing if you are vegan it means you don't you don't eat any meat you know any meat product no milk from a cow plant-derived milk yeah you can have those type of things but yeah whenever you say lactose intolerant they'll just give you things basically like you you'd look at your plate you're like would you eat this would you actually eat this you know or they'll just subtract stuff so I've been to places where the menu is like 45 pound a head and other people are having lambs and steak so because they're all made with butter and stuff like that I can have them right I can't have them okay fine they just take all this away and leave you maybe with the bed of vegetable that this was supposed to be on so if it's like cabbage you just have cabbage and you maybe drizzle a little sauce on there or something like that but you're still paying the 45 pounds you know <sighs> I'm making this video to just say that there needs to be a little bit more recognition of the fact that there's people out there that just can't eat the things that are that are being served and there is a way to make sure 
that every single person can eat the same thing. There is butter out there that tastes just as good as normal butter, but it's derived from a plant. Like Vitalite or however you say that brand. Or There's so many, all this lacto-free stuff. You can just put that in there. And that's good for vegans and it's good for lacto-free people. Lacto -free people. And most of the time it's gluten-free as well. So some of this stuff is good for gluten-free people. So that'll help your people with celiac disease and stuff like that. I mean, you're just covering your bases, you know. And I think restaurants really need to start doing this so that there's, there's also less of a hassle. So I went somewhere today and I don't think I, I need to put them on blast because we ended up speaking to management and stuff. So they, they know what they did wrong and what they need to do right. But I went somewhere today where we ordered and I said, you know, I would like a lactose-free option. And what was said was, okay, you can't, you know, they went to check with the chef and stuff, came back, you can't have this, you can't have this, okay, you can have this and this. And it was like, it was a, a paper menu. It wasn't even, um, it wasn't a menu that was going to stay for long, right? It was like, it was like a test, uh, a test meal. So we were testing out the meals. So this is like a paper menu and I'm sure once it's in full effect, they'll have like the, the proper menus. So I was asking if this lady could just kind of cross the pen that she was holding, you know, what I could eat. Because it's always very overwhelming. It's like da 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 you can have, da 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 you can't have. Just maybe tell me what I can have because once you add the what I can't have, it all mushes up and like it's just too much, right, of a, of a whole menu. So I asked if she could like cross it. She didn't want to do that. So okay, I just asked again and then recited it back to her and she was like, yep, that, that and that, okay. So that's what I could have. And then in terms of the sides, I said, what about the sides? And then she was like, oh, that's all okay. You can have, you can have all of that. That would be fine. Meanwhile, I'm looking at the sides. There's Gruyere cheese. There's some sort of cream situation. How the heck is that suitable for somebody that's lactose intolerant? Somebody explain that to me. Anyway, so... The stuff came, the side came, and it was like a mushy potato with some butter on, butter mixed with it, you know. I I was sure that none of this was going to be lactose free, but since the lady said that, I said I'm just going to go with it, only to find out that there was butter in there. So, yeah, I couldn't have that, I had to ask for something else. My point is, these people, everybody needs to be educated, I don't care where you are, even even if you're in high school or whatever, there needs to be classes about these things. It's just like how people with the nut allergies, sometimes if you even open a bag of nuts in front of them, they will react. They will have a serious allergic reaction. This stuff can be deadly for some people. It is not a joke. It's not just a little scratch, ooh, a little rash, a little allergic reaction, or a little achy, <laughs> a little sneeze somewhere. This is very serious. This can be dangerous. People have died, okay? Like, like the girl with the Pret-a-Manger, pret or however you pronounce that place. That place, the girl who, you know, got the baguette and there was something in there. Um, and she ended up dying. You know, these things happen and my heart breaks for people that have had to go through this. Because this is so preventable. And people are still just so lazadaisical about it all. As if it doesn't matter. When we told the lady who said that everything was okay, that I was able to have all of it, that, listen, this thing had butter in it, and actually I can't have butter because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, the response was, yeah, but you know, it's just a little bit... <laughs> Pump the brakes, what? It's just a little bit? That's not how this stuff works. A little bit can kill. A little bit can make somebody even if it's just uncomfortable, would you like your guests to be uncomfortable? Would you like somebody to break out in a rash, have an anaphylactic shock, have diarrhea, vomit, have stomach aches, have whatever? If somebody is allergic, you need to listen to what they're saying. They know their body. Food is delicious. A lot of people like food. A lot of people are foodies. There's no way you're just going to reject food just for the sake of it. This is a legitimate concern. I can't have this stuff. You can then turn around and minimize my allergy or my intolerance by saying it's just a little bit you don't know how a little bit of that stuff would react in my body this is why i said it if i knew oh maybe it's just a little bit 
I would have maybe specified if it's just a little bit, it's fine. But how do you quantify a little bit? Like, I'm just making this video because I'm frustrated with it all. All y'all need to get your facts straight. Do not subtract stuff. If I'm lactose intolerant, y'all need to find a way, especially if you're paying crazy amounts of money, right? You need to find a way to make sure that whatever is on that person's plate right next to me is going to be on my plate. I've heard all kinds of things. I've heard, this is from fancy restaurants, okay? I've heard, um, the stuff comes shipped in and it's just kind of defrosted here so we can't do anything. It comes pre-packaged. What do you mean it comes pre-packaged? If this is a five-star, four-star restaurant, you, you can't, oh, Gordon Ramsay. We need Gordon Ramsay up in this time because to me, I thought this is why they have kitchens in places, you know, they have kitchens so that you can actually prepare the food there and then so that you can cater to everybody's need. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand any of it. I really don't. I really, really don't. And then to ask that amount of money and not even like take some of the money off or sometimes I even try and help them. I'm like, okay, here's what you got to do, right? Tell your chef, right? To, and to me, I would think there's pride because I love cooking myself. So if you've chosen that profession as a chef, there should be some kind of pride in, ooh, okay, we're not going to do this everyday mundane thing, just defrost stuff and put it on a plate and make it look nice and drizzle some, some you know, three meals of, of some jus de, de something, something. I'm going to cater to this person. What can I do? I take a little bit of that. I take that. Take this meat. Don't put in that butter. Maybe just use olive oil. Da -da -da -da. Put that together. Da -da -da -da. Instead of that. So that's what I would think. But they don't do that. In this day and age especially, if the aisles of the free from are becoming longer and longer, it is evident that there is an epidemic going on. People are intolerant to so many things. You can then as a restaurant where people come to eat all the time, turn a blind eye and pretend this is not happening and still be dousing everything in butter and cheese and cream and all kinds of interesting things. You, you can't do that. You can't pretend like this is not a problem. It is an issue. If the supermarkets know this, right? And the supermarket is a place where you, even as a lactose intolerant or a gluten intolerant person, you could go out and choose and pick some stuff and still make it work. Even they have realized, no, but wait a second. If they're able to have, I don't know, Greek yogurt, these lactose intolerant people should be have, able to have, you know, Greek yogurt. And if these people are having oats, these people should be able to have gluten-free oats and this type of things. They have realized the problem. They have tried to cater for everybody. So everybody can sit at the same breakfast table or have a dinner or lunch and be able to eat the exact same thing without getting ill. It's just not fair if you think about it. And I guess if you're not intolerant or you don't have an allergy, you don't think about these things. Like even with the not allergy things, I heard that story about the the people that were told, you know how in the airport, in the, uh, on an airplane, they used to always like for long flights, they start you off with a, a bag of nuts a bag of you know almonds or whatever and I never thought about it but like people with nut allergies like you can't just be opening up you know things with nuts and just be munching in front of them like some people react really badly even to that and it was a couple that was sent to go and sit in the toilet for the rest of the flight <laughs> sit in the toilet for the rest of the flight that's just what they did they just offered these nuts and I never thought about it but you see that's why we need awareness. We need people to be aware. So I'm making this video so that people are aware that this is a problem, this is a thing. We don't need to be discriminated against. We need people to be creative with their menus. We need people to come up with solutions. We need people to not undermine other people's allergies and undermine what people are feeling in their own bodies. Or if you're gonna take everything away and just give me rabbit food, slash the cost of my thing all the way down. Because this rabbit food, I can get anywhere. I came here for a meal, okay, not a snack. That needs to be clear. Yeah, I guess that's my two cents. Y'all need to do better. Do better, do better. Be like the supermarkets. At least they seem to get it in order. Not that the lactose-free stuff, or the, especially the gluten-free stuff, sometimes it's disgusting. But at least they're making an effort and people are able to enjoy bread and all these other things just like everybody else. 
so yeah that's my two cents stop discriminating us we have taste buds too we like things that are tasty too and yeah the fact that most of us did not grow up like this so we do know a life of the cheese the, you know the creams the whipped creams the yogurts the dairy the puddings we know that life and we have enjoyed it before and it's just unfortunate that now our bodies have changed and now we are in this predicament but it's not an oh you can't eat anything kind of thing because if I cook in my house I can eat anything because I substitute stuff so if I'm not a chef and I've not been through all that training and I'm able to do it I'm pretty sure that all you talented chefs out there are able to do it and y'all need to speak to management or whatever and ensure that people don't make videos like this that's what that is so that everybody can be happy we can all enjoy a nice meal together okay that was my two cents make sure you make time for glorious life it's time to start living it right and whatever you do make sure you hit bump stop a zone turn that subscribe button and bling bling hit the notification bell while you're at it i hope you have a glorious day see you in the next one bye